This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Hey, was it during your time off that started your thought process of forming Terminus? Okay, so uh, no, Terminus is um, something that my friend and I, uh, Baron Black, who works for AEW, um, we, we came up together uh, at WWE 4 uh, under Mr. Hughes, and uh, we would always do these independent shows with each other. And um, we would, leaving and going to the show, we would always talk about how the shows are promoted or like what we feel is wrong with the shows and stuff, um, how the shows are uh, like just executed. Um, and we, we thought we could add more to the shows. Um, definitely more so here in Atlanta because the scene kind of died after WCW went away. Um, and there's shows on the outskirts of Atlanta, but there's nothing here in the city. So uh, Baron and I talked for years um, and, uh, you know, present day, we're financially in a much better place. So we decided, why not? Let's let's just try to do it. Um, a lot of people think Terminus is a, um, a answer to Ring of Honor going on hiatus, but uh, it's not. It's just the timing was just perfect for that story to to be like uh, out there. But um, that's pretty much what it was. Just my friend and I wanting to do it for a long time and uh, help wrestling uh, come back in the Atlanta area. Hey, I'm really interested in your new project, Terminus Modern Age Grappling. Explain yes. the reasoning behind what you're doing. I'm really big on entering psychology. I believe, um, and this is not me talking ill of any company or any individual, but I feel that professional wrestling at its core is storytelling. Mm -hmm. And like any other form of entertainment, you have to understand act one to kind of have a good grasp of act two and so on and so on. In today's current environment of wrestling, I feel like, and uh, lack of a better way to say it, wrestling has become fireworks. It's just a lot of... A uh, bunch of high spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that if it was a variety show. But I feel that so many young wrestlers want to wrestle a certain way, but they're afraid to because they don't see anybody else doing it. Mm. From WWE to Impact to AEW to New Japan, stylistically if you pay attention all the wrestlers are kind of wrestling the same way guys are afraid to wrestle differently because they don't see anybody on television doing it differently right. so or if they are doing it differently very few guys are doing it differently so um they all do this high impact style because they feel like if i do this style regardless of their body size and their ability to actually do it they're trying to do it because they feel like that's what's going to bring them back to the show but in my mind uh, to have heels and faces, you have to have rules implemented that heels can break that creates the heel persona and, and, and the reaction of the yay and boo. Um, a lot of guys, at least independently, in coming into a show like AEW or Impact, nine times out of ten, you're not going to get the microphone if they are not investing in you really big. So it's difficult to let people know that you're a heel if you don't get a chance to talk. Sure. So on the indies, normally you get booked, you don't get a chance to get a microphone and do anything. So that means you have to tell people your story from bell to bell. Mm -hmm. And the only way to do that is if rules are enforced. But if you can grab a chair and hit somebody or break somebody's eyes multiple times and not get disqualified, then there's nothing for the face to overcome and there's no rules for the hill to break to get heat. Sure. So Terminus... Um, is a company that enforces rules. Um, a lot of people look at rules handicapping them, but in my mind, rules help with creativity. Now you have to wrestle around these and figure out how to make these rules make your match more exciting. Um, and if we're giving you information that you have to understand, people are more prone to like understand it, filter through it, and then are excited and, and welcome having to think. With the high spot way of wrestling, you don't necessarily have to think. You just react to it. But my goal is to hopefully soon garner, like, genuine emotional reactions and not just reactions to wrestling. Right. That's my goal with Terminus. Get the fans and, emotionally involved, right? Yeah, yeah. And then hopefully bring back heels and faces. Uh, there's this tweener thing that people are really – a lot of tweeners right now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just, it's not it's not a bad thing, to be honest, but 
when everybody's doing it, then why? Let's be different, you know? Um, that's just my way of thinking. Hearing you break that down and uh, just watching Kurt's reaction as I get to sit here and do that, I can't help but think, man, we've talked about dream matches before. I would have loved to see a Jonathan Gresham, Kurt Angle match. You know what I mean? My goodness, oh, I think wow. you two could have put on an album. I would have thoroughly enjoyed that, yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's, that's for sure. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.